Watch you guys got another video here for your critical Windows 10 update to fix 56 security holes and vulnerabilities. Now, Microsoft are urging people to update. Now, this update is crucial for people that want to stay safe on the internet because uh, these patches will resolve a lot of problems. Three of the main problems are to do with TCP IP security vulnerabilities, and this impacts people that are running Windows 10 machines from Windows 7 upwards, including server variants of uh, the operating system as well. So let's just talk about the TCP IP bugs, which Microsoft have patched with this update. Basically, uh, these fixes will fix all vulnerabilities in the Windows TCP IP stack, which allows the operating system to connect to the internet. Two of these bugs allow fixes for remote code execution vulnerabilities uh, that could allow attackers to take over your Windows uh, system um, remotely. Uh, the third bug out of that three, uh, which could be used to crash Windows 10 systems which will basically shut down the system and probably cause a blue screen of death. And the fourth and last bug in the TCP IP group is to do with the remote code execution bug in the Windows DNS server component. So they're basically uh, the four bugs in the TCP IP uh, stack group, which you can uh, take a look at. I'll leave all the links for these in the video description so you can take a look at them. But all you really need to know is to update your Windows 10 operating system because these are what we class as security updates and patches that will fix any security flaws inside Windows 10. These are not feature updates, which are bundles with uh, feature changes in Windows 10. You can cross-reference these by clicking on these and you'll see here the number up the top, which is in the Microsoft Update Catalog. That is the update. And if we check here on Windows 10 update, you can see it's already updating uh, that. And they're all linked into the same update for that file. So as long as you've got that file coming down, you know you're patched and you're updated uh, to the latest versions. And you can see here, these are the other versions here that I'm showing you. Now, there's a big long list of these, which I'll go through and show you these. Uh, but this is the remote code execution vulnerability, this one. There's quite a few of them. Uh, on there and I'll quickly show you a big list of these in a bit but you could just go down here and read all about this if that interests you if not then just update Windows 10 really but I just wanted to show you uh, some information here so you can understand where I get this information from uh, so it's all legit and you can understand it so you can see this is the uh, denial of service vulnerability here which is for February 9th 2021 which will be patched Tuesday which will be updated and these will all come in one uh, update, which will come down from the Microsoft uh, servers. In, in Windows 10, when you hit Windows 10 updates, these will come down and it will be patched. And this is the Windows DNS remote code execution vulnerability that we were talking about earlier. Now, like I put in the title, there was quite a few. This one is the .NET Core remote code execution vulnerability. There is over 56 uh, patches and security vulnerabilities that have been fixed uh, by Microsoft in this update. So it's quite a big update and uh, for security patches and things like that. So it's really important that you do update uh, to that latest version. Now, again, if you don't want to update to the latest versions of feature updates, then you can download those manually via the catalog, Microsoft catalog. Now, I'll just show you a full list here of the CVEs that have been released by Microsoft for February 2021. You can see them here. They're all listed down on the uh, left-hand side here, and it tells you the title of the vulnerability and the severity of it, and it gives you uh, the information right there on the screen so you can see the big long list of it. And it's pretty extensive, so you can see quite a lot. Now, again, as I've said before, if you don't want to update to the very latest feature updates and keep with the same version, then you could singly download those uh, from the uh, catalog area and just update it that way if you wanted to. And I'll show you the list on, on here where it says the security update guide here as well, and it shows you the full list of this as well. Now, don't always release Patch Tuesday videos every single time because obviously sometimes there's not much uh, information to talk about, which means it's very 
minimal updates. But when they're big updates like these ones with massive security updates, which are major flaws in uh, the operating system which they've patched and fixed, then I obviously want to tell you about those because I want to really make sure that you get the latest updates uh, straight away. So that's the reason why I don't always release these on a regular basis. But if you do want me to reg regularly release these types of videos, then let me know in the comments section below whether you want me to do more Windows 10 update informational videos like these, and I'll try and do my best to uh, do those for you. I'm just trying to work out what sort of content you guys want to see all the time. And uh, I seem to release certain stuff and it doesn't seem to work. And uh, I'm sort of scratching my head a little bit to what you actually want to watch. So let me know in the comments section below. Other than that, I think that's going to be about it for this video. So stay safe out there, guys. Have a great week and I shall see you again for another video real soon. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a big special thanks to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. And I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now.